What's up guys? Welcome back to Ready Play Rick. So we're going to go for another round. This is episode 4 of Subnautica in VR. Uh, stalkers. Are you going to follow me, Stalker? Hopefully not. What I'm going to do... So we're now going to start looking around for a bit of wreckage, I think. See if we can get more blueprints. I might as well collect that water here. Why not? Stalker. This is their area though, so I'm not too surprised. He's popped off. <laughs> right, we're looking for wreckage. Like, not just one or two bits of metal. I mean, I'm going to collect them as they're here, but it's not what I'm really looking for. Get some air. Let's go back down. Let's see what we can find. No, I'm going to leave that. Wait, oh, what's this? Might be something, it might not. Is there anything? In no, it's nothing in there. Sometimes there's things in those boxes which you can scan. Just need to get some air. It's right here. Yep, sweet. Come across anything yet? It's another stalker. That looks like a big one. They're all pretty big, to be honest. You can swipe them with a knife. It does make them swim away. But I'll try and further avoid contact with them if possible at all. Oh, what is this? Oh, what do we have here? Might be some bits down here. Let's get the scanner out. Yes. Go to the trap fragment. Okay, cool. Let's put this in there. Oh no! Okay, it's fine. You hurt me a little, I'm okay though. Nice. Excellent. Oh, one button. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, there's nothing in there. Button here. Sea glide fragment. Cool. Yes! Awesome. I'm just going to get you some air, I'm just going to double check around here a little bit more, and over there. I got... Okay, so I have water. Okay. I think that's it around here, but I'm just going to check a little bit more. I 
Oh, cool. Acquired. It's worth thoroughly checking out these areas. What the heck is that? Oh, right. Beacon fragment. I already collected one or two of those. Stop making our way back. Have a look up here as well. Oh, yep. Got that while we're here. That up too, because we're on our way back. Get the knife out now, just in case a stalker comes at me. Picking up plenty of bits of scrap metal here. Lots of stalkers around here, so I don't want to be hanging around here too long. Oh, dude, leave me alone! Wow, he's going quite fast. I think he got stuck. He can probably come after me still, but I need to grab a fish or two on the way for some food. There we go. Another fish and one of those, one of those, whatever they're called, to make the uh, purified water. One of these. Oh, cool. Have no more room. Okay. There's another stalker here. There's my mini first part of my base. I think I'm going to go to the base first. And I'm going to build some more storage in there because I haven't built any in there yet. That's why it's still worth having a, a tiny base captain. like this. It's worth having. Okay, so let's. Quartz. Oh, damn. Can I be able to. Oh, yeah, I've got enough for that. Put that there. Okay, so I think you can eat this. Yeah, you can. Um, can I build? Have I got enough to build? Oh, I have. Yeah, I'm gonna whack one of these in here. Perfect. Evil coral. Oh, there's loads of that. I can get that. Table coral. Okay, so something else I need to get. Okay, so we're going to go back to the pod then. So we need some table coral to finish that fabricator off. That'd be handy having that in here. I'll build another locker and uh, there's another storage thing I was going to build is that locker at some point when I've got enough bits and pieces. Let me try and check this locker if I can. I don't know if there's a stalker behind me. I hope not. these bits. So rather not leave them outside. There we go. I'll still use that lock if I have to, but it's looking less likely now.
Uh, let's have something to eat. Some water. Let's see, I badly needed that water. <laughs> okay, um, let's, let's turn this scrap titanium into something useful. And takes up less space too. a little bit more space. Uh, I don't think I need anything else from here. I'll take a few bits. Well, I'll take as much as I can. I can put it in storage. Or some of it at least. Back to the base. Oh, haven't built a hatch on that side yet. Probably a good idea too. Did I pick up table coral? I think I did. Yes, now we have a fabricator in the mini base. Okay, what else can we build? We need to build more storage. It's number one, I think. I remember that. We should be able to squeeze another locker on the side, hopefully. bit uneven but <laughs> oh well that'll do for now wow look at all the storage we have now we have absolutely tons of it Mushrooms for, I believe. Yeah, I do. I can quickly go out and grab them actually, to be fair. Just get that battery done. Let's just go grab a load of these. There they, there they are. That should do us, actually. Hello, Reaper. They're always close by lately. <laughs> So we've got the battery, I just need to collect uh, some of these from the reaper vines. Or creeper vines, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stay time now, so I'm gonna hang on. Stuff a bit. I need to dump some of this stuff off. There's no point in having the storage. Storage. I'll keep the battery on me just to keep it easier for later on. Okay, cool. Oh, grab this for dude for some more a bit. Ah. Okay, go ahead. Right. 
Okay, cool. There's a creep of vines. So before I go in there and grab what I need for the lubricant, I'm just gonna grab some air. Oh, there's an air bubble thing. I could have used that. Oh well. I like to keep it to a minimum how long I'm in this area for. Because the stalkers are everywhere here. Let's grab some more while we're in here quickly. What's that? Another stalker. Maybe everywhere at the minute. That one's coming after me though. Yep, he's coming. Here we go. Let's have a quick look out the window, see if he's coming at the base. There he is. There he is. Whoa! It's not meant to happen. <laughs> and you. I feel quite so secure in here now. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, oh, well. He gets me, he gets me. Got that. Oh, I need to make a lubricant. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Yep. Grab a part here. Put some of this in storage anyway. Wait. I need to grab some bits from storage. Copper wire and titanium. Okay. I might need to make some copper wire. And loads of titanium. Okay. your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Okay. Let's make a few more quickly, because he needs it. We've got the sea glide now. Let's try this out. Oi. Awesome. Is there some more things to scan over here? 
I think it's a sea glide anyway, but we'll scan it just in case. Oh, the scanner's not on me. So I need to change that around so the scanner is on me. Yeah, there we go. I think it's best to just... No, it gives you titanium, but it's worth to scan them, and I, even if it's something you've got already. There's a few bits here. I didn't realise this stuff was here so close to my base and everything. Easy place to get your uh, sea glider. Uh, Stuff from so when you just scan it over here, so I know I've got this as well. But see, it gives me titanium. Nice. Worth scanning still. Come here, water. <laughs> couple of bits. On the way back. Let's see if there's anything else we can build. I'm not sure if there is, but... It's pretty close to the base. That's cool. It's very close to the drop-off and everything. It's not a bad location, to be fair. It's quite near my Welcome party. aboard, Captain. Thank you. Vehicle Bay. Beacon. Oh, I might be able to beacon. Copper. Gravity trap uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. Ooh. I won't build that yet, but interesting. Ah, oh, go away. <laughs> they don't even really scare me anymore, they're just more annoying. Go away. Go on. <laughs> Get 
away from my base. Get away from my base. He's going away, good. Two strikes, I guess. He'll probably come back round. Again, let's uh, quickly grab some air. Oh, I nice think I need to check my radio. I'm hot. from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. How far away are they? Right, okay. Life pod, something stranded near a cave system. And under attack. There's no way I can go there at night time. We're gonna need to make some. Oh, cool, we've got two walls on us, some food. Need to make some more food. And a bit more water, I think. Put in storage what we don't need. Or as much as we can anyway. to fill with water, I could do with a few of them as well. The daylight starts coming in, then we're gonna see what's on the side of that signal. I bet there's nobody alive there. In fact, they've been attacked. Might not be so good for me. 
But hey hey. We shall find out. Travel to that some point soon. See what we can find in there. I can't quite remember what's in there when you first go in there. I know there's lots of uh, things that can kill you, <laughs> especially in the lower depths. It's just under 600 meters away. If I remember rightly, there's like an. Looking in this direction, to the left of the aurora slightly, there is like an island over there. You can't see it until you get closer up. That's just going off memory. I'm roughly around here. There or there. I think it's like dead ahead. So the aurora's on your right. Ah! Nice, daylight's coming in. Where's that signal again? Let's uh, go have a look. Let's <laughs> stay fairly high up for now. Especially in the depths. Well, this is right in the depths, isn't it? Daylight yet either. 192. Getting closer. Okay, there it is. There it is. Ah. Uh, there's nothing left. They've been ripped open. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of here anyway. Integrating new PDA data. Do you think we can scan around here while we're here? Nice. Oh, quite that. Nice, the sea moth. Definitely want that. Get some air. That's a big one. I think they're pretty much friendly, those from what I remember. 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm swimming upwards, I know. See some wreckage down here. Kind of interested in seeing if there's anything to scan. I think there will be. I hope there's no uh, nothing out here that can eat me at the minute. There's something over there. Don't want to get too close to him. I can help it. Integrating new PDA. Scanner room. Okay, cool. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. It's getting a bit closer, so... Right, we're getting a bit low on air, so we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to go up, anyway. Up we go. I think 
going to start heading back now because we've picked up a, cool, a few cool things. Let's keep relatively high up here. This definitely helps this thing. Saves time. Can't wait to build a submarine though. since I played until I've sort of re come back to the game for the arc. Space. <laughs> We've got space in the pod and other waterproof locker I built anyway. Okay, so we found some more blueprint blueprints rather. Vehicles. I think we ha need the mobile vehicle bay before we can build any submarines or anything like that. Just checking if there's anything else available. Not really. Maybe I should build a fire extinguisher here just in case. Just need some more titanium. I don't want to carry it around. Can I put it out here? I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't want that equipped on me. I'll leave it in storage. There we go. Okay, so we found some more things, which is really cool. What are you doing? <laughs> it's getting stuck. Alright guys, so I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, found some cool new stuff in this one. Um, if you want to see my future content, when it comes to the, uh, coming after me. <laughs> if you want to see my future content, then obviously hit that subscribe button and bell notification. And if you enjoyed the video, you know, just give it a like. Thanks for watching, guys.